Resident Evil 4 made its debut for the GameCube in January 2005. It was followed up on the PlayStation 2 in October later that year with extra exclusive content, one of them being the Separate Ways mode, a side story focusing on Ada as she attempts to track down the lost Plogus Amber and deliver it to Albert Wesker, an evergreen villain of the Resident Evil franchise. Although Separate Ways was more akin to a minigame than an actual fleshed out story, it was well beloved by fans. The original Separate Ways was merely a retread of the areas in the base game, with most of it being step for step the same just with a different character that lasted about two hours or so. Not meant to be anything more than just a compendium to the main story, yet upon release of Resident Evil Remake, no Separate Ways was in sight. There was quite an uproar among fans who were looking forward to experiencing the other side of the Resident Evil 4 retelling. But six months later, it's finally here. Was it worth the wait, or should this story have just stayed separated? As Leon is saving the president's daughter and the world from the nefarious cult, Ada has our own mission. As Louise helps you in the main story, so does he here. In exchange for safe passage away to safety, he'll hand over the amber, but that's easier said than done. Originally starting the game in the village, secretly alongside Leon, you instead start in the castle, saving Louise from a torturous fate at the hands of the cultists. More Louise is always better, and we get plenty more of him here and the dynamic between him and Ada. Just like the base game, Separate Ways has its fair share of changes as well, including the boss fights that were removed from the original but were added here. For the initiated, you already know who I'm talking about. This time around, it's a more prominent enemy in the game, a scripted pursuer following you in the story but not in the game like that of Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. And just like in my Resident Evil 4 review, I won't be going into detail about the boss fights, as I find it best to experience that for yourselves. I will say that the final showdown between you and your pursuer was a nice payoff that was pretty satisfying though. While we're on set pieces of the game, I feel it's important to talk about the intro and the complete lack of a village encounter. I feel many who were expecting it to be present here are going to be pretty disappointed about that, as I feel the village encounter is one of the most iconic and memorable events in video games. But I'm not really bothered by this at all as I feel some people probably will be. But I feel it's quite refreshing to get something that isn't just a full retelling of the separate ways story. As I feel the original wasn't all that interesting to begin with as you already have that encounter with Leon in the base game. Since we're already on the topic of a split audience, I want to address the elephant in the room and that's Lily Go's voice performance for Ada. I've already touched on this in my Resident Evil 4 video, but I'll address it again here. Her performance isn't great. In fact, it's quite bad. Throughout my time with Separate Ways, I find it really hard to get caught up in the story and scenarios that play out due to how mediocre her performance is. This isn't something I normally talk about, and this will be the only time I mention it. But if you think her performance is bad, that's more than fair. But please refrain from targeting her personally. Capcom hired her and gave her the role. They directed her and ultimately shipped the game. Not Miss Go. I truly understand the frustration of having a beloved character not live up to their fullest realization, but next time, direct it towards the people who actually make the changes, not the voice actress herself. And with that out of the way, I want to mention the music and how great it is. Just like in the base game, the music never fails to impress. From the intro music to the chapter ending theme and especially the typewriter theme, it's all fantastic new additions to the Resident Evil music library. Just like in the base game, it's definitely music I'll be adding to my drawing playlist. When it comes to puzzles, there aren't many, and most of them are reused from the base game. I don't find this to be an issue as I rather enjoyed most of the puzzles from the base game and do so here as well. However, there is one that really stands out, and perhaps it just comes down purely to a game development standpoint that I fundamentally do not enjoy, and that is the shield puzzle. Having to shoot three specific shields in a certain order on a wall full of shields. Mind you, if you pay attention, you realize that the puzzle is incredibly simple and not that difficult. But the moment I realized what I had to do, I felt an incredible sense of anxiety. My first thought was, what if I ran out of ammo? Or... What if I did get to this point and already struggling for ammo? The game will help you out in this regard, as ammo is given to you in the shield room and the game does give you just enough ammo to keep you on your toes while breaking boxes or dispatching enemies. That's why it feels awfully coincidental, but also relieving whenever you find an extra box of ammo when you really need it. Even with all this in mind, having a puzzle in a horror game that requires you to spend precious ammunition just seems wrong. And I say this with a certain level of hyperbole, 
cruel. Separate Ways is a relatively short experience. As someone who took his time, I finished it in about three and a half hours or so, with an extra hour or two if you wanted to take the time to get all the treasures and complete the challenges. If you want to spend a bit more time with Resident Evil 4, along with the story DLC, more Mercenaries content has also been added, including two versions of Ada and Albert Wesker. Ada has her basic kit, Blacktail pistol, TMP, submachine gun, and her crossbow. Her mayhem ability is the same as Leon's, and overall power increase to firepower and melee damage. Without a doubt, the best part about the new Mercenaries content is the addition of Wesker. His pistols are powerful and well balanced, but the best part about him is his mayhem ability. Able to go full anime protagonist on the enemy, annihilating them with a flurry of punches one after the other. Even making the chainsaw mini bosses look like just another obstacle. Instead of a knife to parry, he'll use his hands, capable of blocking nearly any attack. Even if you happen to not enjoy the mercenaries mode, I heavily implore anyone to give Wesker a shot. Overall, I very much enjoyed my time with Separate Ways. To no one's surprise, more than the original. What was originally just a minigame tacked on to sell a game already released earlier that year turned into a full-fledged story. Just like the base game, I find myself wanting to return to it because it truly is just that fun. I don't feel forced to play separate ways to finish out the challenges and achievements. If you enjoyed Resident Evil 4 Remake, then there's no doubt you'll enjoy this as well. And for that, I highly, highly recommend it. Hey guys, what's up? So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the support to all my subscribers, to all my Patreon supporters, you guys are absolutely incredible. Just absolutely amazing. I love you all. I really appreciate all of the love and support that you guys give. And I know I don't put out these videos consistently, but I am absolutely wanting to change that. That change should be coming very soon. And by very soon, I mean there should be a video out next week. And then a more scripted video out a week after that. So you'll get a scripted video about every two weeks and I'm wanting to make it more consistent. I just need the time and I'm really interested in seeing how my content evolves and seeing how I develop as a content creator and as a as a writer and a video editor. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.